Heartbreaking images of hungry New Yorkers, people whose lives changed overnight, exposing how many of our neighbors are living an all too vulnerable life, paycheck to paycheck. Nobody should be going hungry. We got enough problems in the hospitals. We've got a lot of food, we can get it to you. Nick Bash is the founder of Honeyflower, a two-year-old plant-based packaged food company. Almost within a week, we lost 70 to 75% of our business. Airports, right, they're out. Colleges, hospitals, gone. Um, and so we're like, okay, well, what are we going to do? Having cooked up a business built on relationships he knew, now was the time to feed the hungry who were unemployed with no safety net while keeping his crew of 25 working. Slowly a startup rapping. after being a startup. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was, uh, now he's getting 22,000 meals weekly into bellies hungry for his healthy, nutrition-packed food. Soba noodles with mushrooms, curried potato cauliflower, twice-baked eggplant. You know, it's a very different. It's not a ham sandwich that sits... Uh, you know, on the shelf. All going to Brooklyn community centers, homeless shelters, DC food drop-offs, neighborhood food trucks. He's partnered with City Harvest and others, using donations to keep his workers paid in the crisis. So successful. Great. We hired like six people in the kitchen in the last two weeks. Just another example of a small business with a heart able to hear the calling of change. It's, it's going to be very interesting to see what happens over the next year. But for now, if we can do this, you know, every, it's one day at a time, really. <laughs> One day at a time, but he knows that as long as the donations keep coming in, he can keep providing those meals and they can even ramp up and get even bigger if the need and the support is there. What a terrific relationship between New Yorkers with big hearts who want to give and those with empty bellies who need to be fed.